All right, today we're gonna to make an easy, low-fat recipe, hamburger stew. So I'm gonna show you what it's all comprised of. Four carrots. These, of course, are multicolored carrots. You can get straight orange if you want. Two russet or baker potatoes. One medium onion, diced up, small. And uh, four celery stalks for each? Yes. About four celery stalks. So here's the, the beef of choice. I'm off season, so I got the organic, grass-fed, 90-10, uh, 90, so 10%. If you're dieting, you can use the 96-4, which is the 4%. So first things first, I'm gonna cook the meat in the, in the pan here with the onions only. All right, so we've been browning the ground beef with the onions for the last 10 minutes or so, just together, and it's taken about 10 minutes to fully cook. And also, I wanna mention real quick, with the ingredient layout, we also have canned tomatoes that I forgot to talk about. So diced canned tomatoes and then beef broth to go along with it. Okay, so we just drained off all the excess oil and fat. You can do it through a strainer or whatever you want. Uh, so we got rid of that. Now it's time to add in the diced tomatoes to the beef and onions. Stir them in. And now we're also going to add in the beef broth, about half. Of uh, the, I would just put the whole thing in. So or we did two pounds of beef. I guess we're going for the whole thing. What is this, 32 ounces? 32. Yeah, 32. All right. Now bring it to a boil. So 32 ounces of beef broth, and now we're gonna take it from low to high and put it to a boil. All right, so this has been a, a, got to a boil now, the last 10 minutes it took about. And we're gonna add in all the vegetables. Here's the carrots, the potatoes, which by the way could be exchanged with rice if you don't like potatoes and they don't sit well in your stomach. And then now the celery. It's a full pot here. No. So I'm going to stir all this in. Pray that it doesn't overflow. And we're going to add some salt and pepper too as well. And also now, so since it was boiling, we, I brought it down to a simmer, so now it's on low, which is important. So after a boil, bring the vegetables, uh, bring the vegetables in and then bring it down to a simmer and sea salt and pepper. And of course you can add more salt whenever it's finished to your personal bowl there. Uh. And now we'll let this hang out and cook all the vegetables through, the potatoes and the carrots, and check on them until they're tender. And this will be ready to go. All right guys, here we go. Been simmering for over an hour. Potatoes are done, all vegetables are done. This thing's ready to go. And we're gonna serve it up and add some, probably more salt and pepper to it. And here is your hamburger stew. And once again, you can add, instead of potatoes, you can put jasmine rice or whatever rice that you want. Or rice and potatoes. Or no carbs at all and just do vegetables and protein if you're carb restricted. So there you have it.